What up everybody? It's Mark Galloway here. Welcome to my next vlog. My first vlog and my first video. Well, I think my first video, I did upload my, my first video of 2019 was actually, I don't know, just like something sometime after the New Year's Day, but that doesn't matter. Well, this is actually my first time filming on this vlog channel in 2019. And for this vlog, we're going to be doing my trip to San Diego, California. Yep, so last time I did a vlog was around Christmas time when my sister came here. And uh, yeah, we have plans to go to San Diego. And well, she's living in San she's living in San Diego right now. I'm going over here there to visit for the weekend. So the last time you seen her was um, in my previous vlog, and that was almost a month ago now. So I am now preparing to pack for my trip to San Diego, California. So. I'm not really, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm preparing to pack, so what I do know what I'm going to bring is a couple of these Monster Jam yearbooks, and these are some of my clothes, I'm, and I'm going to be bringing my, my famous, well, it's not really famous, but I'm going to be bringing my iconic hashtag Mark Crush shirt, and this is going to be, and I'm going to try to bring over my belt. I do have like a worry that it's like not going to be able to be permitted on my trip, but I mean, it's not a weapon, it's not anything, not really anything can do harm. It's a souvenir, a custom-made souvenir made by, well, not, not that I made it, I didn't make it, but I did do some designing of it. But, I am praying that it goes through without a situation, and I had hope I don't have to deal with a situation that requires me to blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, I'm still going to bring it. I'm also going to bring the Miraculous Ladybug DVD, for my sister to watch because I'm doing something for a reason. So, in here, I am. I had last time I talked to Sarah actually was um I actually was talking to her about Miraculous Ladybug and Spider Man, um together, not really for a film but like as together as cosplaying. She seemed like she was interested in the idea. I mean, she doesn't cosplay too often. She doesn't cosplay. She's not a YouTuber or anything. She likes to do with her life, but you know. She seemed interested in the idea, so I went ahead and bought her a couple of things. I already gave her the Ladybug earrings slash Miraculous for Christmas or for her birthday, but these are some stuff I have yet I have to send her. I'm waiting for the Ladybug costume to come over, but right here we have the yo-yo pocket. This is what Ladybug uses on her side, but I'm hoping my mom can help me put in a little bit of a zipper so we can make it an actual pocket for the yo-yo. What I did do though is that like I painted this part of the yo-yo uh, red because in, in the TV show, her yo-yo, the, the tip of this yo-yo right here where the finger goes in, if you see like an image in HD where this part is on her finger, you can see that it's red all around. So that's the only customization I did to it. You can still fit your finger in it and it works well. And I got a, the Ladybug wig, and I also got um, uh, a wig cap so she could put this on her head without um, uh, without a problem. And finally, well, not finally, still waiting on a cousin, as I said, but I also bought her an exact replica of Ladybug's mask. Um, it actually comes with attachable stickers and instructions inside the box right, right in there. But this one right here. Um, it's actually like in 3D. I don't know if you can see it. Well, you can see it a little bit. The blinking light's gonna get in the way a little bit, but you can see that this looks very realistic and well made. And you can see that this is the back of it. So yeah, so this is supposed to be um, sticking to your eyes without you know um, bands or latchable things that can go around your go around this mask and on, around your head. Um, I am going to. It is gonna. The costume is actually gonna come with one, but. You know, that is going to be the one with the string. So she has the option to use this one or the other one. Uh, but I am going to put in a detailed note. Uh, hold on. All right. So, and I'm also going to be shipping back. I also, I actually ordered two of those yo-yos by accident. So I'm going to be sending back this one. And and I'm going to be making sure that this camera's charged. I'm going to be sure to bring in my camera battery charger and um, some wires for to charge my phone and my camera charger or this camera the GoPro right here and I have my tickets for 
Monster Jam in San Diego. And that's it. So that's pretty much the step one of me packing to go to San Diego. So I'll bring you guys another update when things are coming around. Okay guys, so here's a small update. Uh, so I'm about 95% packed. But there is a small update. So I'm now going to be heading to the airport at around 3.30pm because recently, or right now temporarily, the government has been shut down by Donald. You know, screw Donald, right? Um, so yeah, um, it, because of this, there's not a lot of TSA agents working at the airport. So this is probably going to cause a huge line. So I'm heading there an hour prior and <clears throat> see if there's a long line or not. So hopefully it's not too long, and if it is, I mean, we'll have to do it, but I mean, at least I'll be able to catch my flight. Anyways, uh, that's the small update. Just hopefully I can get everything packed, and then, and also tomorrow, right, right after I get out of work and get paid, I'm gonna ship some stuff out to the post office, and then do a couple of errands, and then finish packing, along with my carry-on bag right here, and then I'm going to head to the airport, so I'll check back with you guys when we're ready. Or if I get another update. Okay, it is now Friday, um, 6.42 in the morning. I just got back from work. So, oh, and I forgot that I have to bring this Monster Jam official guidebook. It also needs some more autographs. It does have Carolina Crusher included, but, you know, Gary Porter's rarely around since retirement. So, don't know how I'm going to find him now. But, anyways, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to fix my bed, shower, change, and then make sure everything is in order in my suitcase. Make sure everything's okay. And then once I double check, make sure I'm in the clear. The, well, that actually the suitcase I am going to do later before I leave. But what I am going to do is that like after I shower, I'm going to go to the post office, ship out the items, and then I'm going to do some errands a little bit. And then come back home and then make sure everything is ordered in my case and my carry-on bag. And then I'm all set. And I also have to make sure I get a good lunch and such like that. So anyways, um, and also when I do errands, I'm going to film from my phone. I don't want to film with my GoPro due to the fact I don't want to be mistaken for a stalker or anything like that. But yeah, so anyways, now let's get started. And well, now let's get ready. All right, we're here at Target. Here's my basket. I found these trucks. I got Max D, I got Grey Big and Wildflower, I got Pirate Curse, Jester and Dragon, Storm Damage and Blue Thunder. I still am in mixed thoughts about getting uh, this right here. Um, it does say Spin Master 124. I'm going to scan them. And there's also really cool Hot Wheels Monster, uh, Monster Trucks. And there's even the exclusive Lion Share, but I rather would get it. I think I might keep Chassis Snapper, so I'll, I would keep these two, but I would like to just sell Tiger Shark, Rock, Rock Ryler, and Seer Clear because I already have those trucks. So I think I'm just going to leave this for right now. And same with the other trucks right here, including this one. I do need Megalodon, but like, I don't want to waste too much money right now, especially for my trip and such like that. But anyways, let's get these suckers and I'm gonna stop at Walmart and go to Taco Bell for breakfast and then drop off my packages. Okay, I didn't get the chance to film in Walmart, but here is my purchases from Walmart. So I found the next double pack I've been looking for, Brodozer and Gasman's Garage, and I found the first three of the WWE Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. We have Stone Cold, <clears throat> AJ Styles, oh, and The Undertaker. They didn't have John Cena, but I did found him. I just ordered him off of eBay, so I will be getting him eventually. And also, if I find these trucks in stock again, I'm only going to get one more of each so I can keep them in the box. And then if I do have the chance, then I'll be able to get them signed by those wrestlers if I manage to see them somehow. But anyways, that is my Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and Spin Master Monster Jam haul. Okay, so I just got back from shopping. I shipped out the packages. It did cost me about $40 to ship them all out. But anyways, uh, here's my updated collection. Um, as I showed you, the Walmart and Target hauls. Uh, so, And also, this is one of my recent trucks right here. The World Finals 14 truck. 
and now the Spin Master trucks are upgraded. Well, my my Lego Plan Fighter Six trucks now moved to the top right here, or the middle. But here's my Spin Master collection so far with Grave Digger, Max D, and so on. Goes right down along right there to the end. And right here are my WWE trucks, and I kept the ring ones. I'm waiting for John Cena, and I'm looking forward for the final. Uh, well, I had another one, John Cena. Oh, yeah, John Cena was the first one. I can't wait for the final six to hopefully line them up all against right here. And, yep. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to make sure I have everything I have right here in this suitcase. And then I'm going to make sure I have what I need. I have the stuff I need for my carry-on. Uh, you know, my chargers, my books, and something like that. My headphones, blah, blah, blah. And oh, I might need my USB cable. I don't think so. But, yeah, I'm just going to charge my phone and then be sure to have everything ready. And, and then we're all set for the trip. Okay, so I just... Uh, double check my suitcase and I just packed the last things that I needed to put in there um, In the Rockland bakery they have like one of the freshest bagels on like what they have in California well according to my sister and So I bought some bagels and I packed them into my suitcase and I double checked and made sure I have everything I needed in there So the suitcase is done and I'm making sure that my carry-on bag has what it needed Well it has what it needs so now my biggest hope is now to get through TSA without any incident because of the, you know, the championship belt. This right here is a blanket that my mom actually told me to pack, but I don't have any room left in my suitcase, so it ha it's pretty much enough. But we're actually going to mail this to my sister. This is actually a blanket made out of old shirts that Sarah really likes. Sarah's my sister, by the way. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure you heard of her. So this is um, pretty much a mix of old t-shirts that was sewn together. So that we're actually going to just mail to her another day. So, yeah. Hey, how's that little Mia doing? Alright, now I'm just going to... Well, this is actually my sister's. But there's a plain rester that I'm going to be using. I did have a blue one I don't know where that went I'll have to check the closet down the hall but yeah so that's pretty much it I have just about another hour and a half before I have to leave and then what I'm going to do I'm just gonna make a small little deposit and then and then that's pretty much it I'll get back to you guys when I'm on my way Riley do you want to say hello good dog Alright, I'm only gonna just make this uh, real quick. So we're on our way to the airport right now, it's 3.32. And um, now I said this uh, quite earlier before, but like there is a situation going on between the government and our current US President Donald Trump. And um, so because like um, the, gov the TSA agents are working for free, there's not gonna be a lot working. So by the time when I uh, walk into the airport, uh, the, it's gonna be pretty crowded. I'm hoping it's not going to be as bad, but I know it's going to be pretty packed. So I'm just bracing myself for arrival. And my flight doesn't start boarding until 7.09 p.m. So, um, yeah, I just want to be sure I get through that on time and hopefully go through TSA without any issues and make sure I'm over there to San Diego, you know, 100%. So that's just a quick update. So we're on our way right now, and um, that's just about that. Okay, I'm at the airport right now. My gate number, like, I found out what it is. So I'm on my way to TSA right now, and I'm praying I can hope I can make it through without situation because of, you know, my belt. I don't know why they would sell me because of that, but okay, I'll let you know if I'm in. All right, I made it through TSA, okay. They didn't take my case. They didn't ask me any questions. My belt's still with me. I'm okay, and surprisingly, it wasn't really that bad. But anyways, I'm now, oh, I walked past my gate. I'm just like walking through the airport right, right now just like looking some stuff to do they have something new so I'll show you that soon all right now my waiting time for the flight begins it's now five o'clock have another two hours and ten minutes before my flight and it's nothing better than getting started with some frozen yogurt right here it's so delicious it has like fruit vanilla bean ice cream granola strawberries banana blueberries I got mixed up there but 
Yeah, and I'm gonna show you something on that iPad too. You know, ones at the tables. I will show you what those do. Okay, so now I just got some sushi. Yeah, I got, there was a self-serving sushi bar, like somewhere right down there. And then you have the option to choose whatever pieces of sushi you want. You get two a piece. And I also decided to get the, this, um, these rolls right here, and an apple banana bar. And that was actually pretty much it. $31. So the next thing I'm actually gonna buy before I get on is try out those menus like I promised. And then after that, I'm gonna see if there's gonna be movies available on the flight to keep me entertained. And then I'm gonna be sure to have, save some money for In-N-Out Burger over there. Okay, we have just about one hour before my flight. So let me show you how this works. We have this uh, iPad right here. But let me just skip that for a minute. So right here we're gonna go to drinks, uh, beverages. And I'm just gonna get myself a Diet Cola. Diet Coke has been added. Uh, we're gonna continue ordering, and now we're going to uh, we're gonna go to sandwiches, and I'm gonna make my own burger. So, and this is what we're gonna add. So we're gonna go medium rare, and I'm gonna choose my own topping. So I'm gonna go with cheddar. Friday, turkey bacon, avocado, caramelized onions, red onions, peppers, ham, bacon, American cheese, three cheese, fried egg, turkey bacon. Instead of fries, mixed green, no bun. So yeah, we're act that's, how, that's actually all I'm gonna do. So we're gonna place in this order. And that's actually gonna be it. So my food has just been delivered right here. So this is my burger, fries, and my Coke. This will probably be, well, not my only time doing this, but like, just for right now on this trip, this will be my only time, you know, for right now. Just because like, you know, it was a lot of money and like such like that. And I do have to save up, but I just had to give this a try. So yeah, now let's actually try it. I actually did try the Coke. So first I'm gonna try this fry right here. Well done. Mm. Average fry. Here we go with the burger. That's pretty big. And also my flight for San Diego just pulled in, but we have almost a half hour. Well, before seven. I'm gonna make sure to finish my meal before we get on. Oh boy, it's, oh, it's really hard to hold. Here, here we go. Mm. No, oh, it's hard. My jaw is aching on that end, but that was big and very hard to chew with one handed. But that's good. That's very good.
gentlemen, welcome to San Diego, California, where the local. Finally landed in San Diego. I could tell that the, the temperature outside is very much like spring. But yeah, so I'm now going to find my sister. I told her I just landed. So what I, I have to use the restroom first. So I'm gonna have to turn this off real quick. I have to let her know that I'm off the plane. So yeah, next time I'll see you, I'll either be in the car or in the apartment. All right, we're here at Sarah's apartment right now. She actually just gave me a tour and the, her, her our apartment's actually pretty cool. So right here, we're on the balcony. You can see there's, she has like a collection of cactuses around here. I'm being careful not to touch them. She also has some plants and some kitty litters and some plants. And this is the overview of the apartment complex that she lives in. Lucy, do you want to say anything? Not a bunch of a talker, are you? And like, this is like, this is the, this isn't a grave digger flag, but that's like a bad to the bone kind of like flag. I think we could see if we could bring that to get signed. I don't know. But like, here, here's the kitty tower for her cats. She has like, cats of her own that don't come to over to New York. She has like, oh yeah, that's her boyfriend Jerry right there. Hey. Yeah. This right here is the kitchen. Now this apartment may not look like it has much, but it's quite enough. And I'm not trying to invade her privacy, but here is her bedroom right here. This is it. This is just actually my first time visiting her San Diego complex. And this right here, if you remember, these are my Christmas gifts to her. So there's her and Jerry at Ice Out Center, me after driving the truck, me, Sarah, uh, Paul and Brennan, and me, Sarah, and Jerry at MetLife Stadium. So yeah, this this actually is quite pretty unique. Oh, Jerry, yeah. what did you think of that title? That was an awesome belt, man. I love that. Yeah, thing. yeah, the drivers love it. The people this that thing I... Was awesome. Yeah, the people, my friends around the sport, they love the belt. And, like, I've, I've been making friends around the sport. It's been quite something. Dude, this thing is really cool. I'm really, really blown away by this thing. Yeah, like, those actually are supposed to be crush oh, cars right here. I was trying my best to find, like, a side view car angle that would fit these pictures. Perfect. I it's know. Perfect. You killed it. It. Yeah, Tom Mintz is actually gonna be there, so I'm I'm at, he I don't think he's actually seen that belt before, so I'm oh, actually look looking forward to seeing that. It. Yeah, I know. Definitely. All right. Well, I'm going to settle in for the night, and I'm definitely looking forward to having some fun. Okay, so now it's Saturday morning, 10 p.m. Hey, how did you sleep last night? All right, so right now what we have like about a couple hours before the pit party, but right now we're having breakfast being made. Sarah and Jerry are cooking bacon, and also we're gonna be having eggs. We I think that's probably all we're gonna be having. Right now, my sister is getting dressed, and I'm gonna be getting dressed very soon too. So yeah, we have like the morning set up. Oh, and by the way, I have my, my belt, my books, my poster, I'm pretty much just getting things I set, things all set that I need to bring in. And so, yeah. And my GoPro, well, actually all my stuff is right here. The rest of my stuff is in, in the suitcase. But anyways, uh, we're just going to be, we're now going to be having breakfast. And then we're going to be right, getting ready to go to the show. I'm not going to film what we're going to be doing at Monster Jam because of copyright infringement and what Felt has been doing. So, um. Yeah, well, you guys know. Oh, actually, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will be seeing photos and such like that. But anyways, we'll get back to you guys very soon. Here's one of her cats named Fern. He, she's addicted to this thing. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, go, go, go. Show them what you can do, Fern. Jump. Fern. Go again. Jump. Sw swing it around so it's fun. I was swinging it around. Floor. On the floor, up, down, all over the place. If you go along the couch. It's not too high for her not to. She'll jump up on the couch. 
Here, let me show you. I'm just doing it just fine. So this is like some kind of milk that Jerry gets from a farm that it's in a very big glass bottle. That's the good stuff. Yeah, you, it is good stuff? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, if, if they say it's good stuff, I am going to try this myself. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, let's see what this is like. It does taste like the usual milk I usually drink in New York, but that is good. All right, so it's now been a couple hours, so it's 11.30 right now. But here is what it looks like in the daytime. It feels really nice out here. Unlike, unlike New York, it's very, very cold, but it feels wonderful out here. Here's the overseas, and there is the blue skies. It even smells very refreshing. Oh, and there's some like lights to like an open field, a state, uh, like a high school field. I'm gonna show you what it's like out the front door. Hey, Fern. section this is just beautiful all right so right now me and Jerry are walking along this boardwalk right here we're now like checking out like this area and we have I'm ha taking, you know, taking a look at this beach the, the waves are pretty big and I can smell the ocean water from right over here and it, this feels so refreshing right out here, unlike New York right now. There, we have been also seeing like some restaurants that I haven't really been to before, and it just makes me crave it so bad. And also at the at the apartment where they're living, we could hear the airplanes because like they live so close down the street from the airport, like literally, we can hear the airplanes. We could see them pass over very low, but just right now. This has been something. Also, there is a carnival like right back there. So if we have any extra time on our plate, that's something that we're gonna have a try at, maybe. Okay, so the walk was very full of experience. We walked walked by the beach, well, saw a lot of these fancy uh, rental houses and such like that. Now I'm with Jerry. So we're sitting here at a bench waiting for my sister. He didn't want to walk anymore because like he, in his opinion since we were walking a while, since we're gonna be walking around the pit party for hours He wanted to save up his energy. So we're wait, now waiting for Sarah to come pick us up But here is what the streets look like near downtown San Diego We saw like some Lamborghinis and a Porsche drive by always cool cars to look at but sometimes very dangerous like to drive Though I but though I would like to have a, tr a car like that. But anyways, we're now just waiting for our sister so we can go get our things at the motel and then, you know, start our fun for real. We're back in the apartment in the Diego of San. Mark Galloway is ready to go to Park Do Park in the Diego of San. Yeah, we're back at the apartment. We're just getting our things now. I'm now in my hashtag Mark Crush shirt and I'm wearing my signature glasses. I'm now just making sure that my bag is all packed with everything I need. And then we're on our way to Pecto Park. Now, as I said before, I'm not going to be putting anything in the vlog related to Monster Jam over there because, like, you know, Feld has been very strict with, you know, the whole thing about, like, you can't post anything on YouTube. But, you know, I don't give a damn what they say. But anyways, um, we're going to go over there. We're going to have some fun. And if you follow me on Instagram at MrMarkyG50, MrMarky50, something like that, you'll be able to see some pictures at least. So, and Jerry's in his outfit. 
And Sarah changed her outfit. I originally picked the tiger outfit, but you know, um, well, we actually flipped the coin to choose an outfit, and then like tails actually, she got tails for the tigers, but um, but yeah, now she's gonna wear her army shirt. What's that? Close the door. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna head out now. We're gonna have some fun, and now let's go crush this event. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick because my, my battery is dying. But we just came back from the stadium, had a great time. It was a great show. Great show. Yeah. We're just getting our dinner. We're here at In and Out, one of the best restaurants here in the West. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're just picking up our dinner right here, and then we're just gonna go home, crash for the night. And tomorrow, before we get started with the fun, we're gonna print out my ticket home, and then, and then the rest is etc. From there. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Pick up from there. See you tomorrow. Right. Right now, right here in San Diego, it is 70 degrees, perfect temperature, but look at this in the east. Newark, it, right now it's 33 degrees, but look at this. Oops, yeah, that's not what I meant. Okay, here's the start, where it is right now. Oh, by the way, guys, since we're close to an airport, here is one of the planes flying over. zoom in but right here here's right now the temperature 33 degrees but look when I land in Newark look at that it's gonna be so freaking cold below 10 degrees I'm so not excited about that at all good morning guys it's my final day here in San Diego my sleep again it was like I would go in and out of sleep for some reason after about a few hours but it happens to me now nowadays, probably because of my job. Well, anyway, so we do have like a few things left on our schedule. We have like some time left before my flight. So we, I actually plan to go to Fina Schnitzel uh, towards the end, towards the end of the day. And like that Wiener Schnitzel, I looked into that place. It's so delicious. It looks so delicious, like Sonic, like Sonic drive through But right now we're going to, um, we're going to, we're gonna go to two places. We're gonna go to the the beach but like where are we exactly are we going first i forgot where we're we going it's called liberty station okay this liberty state oh by the way guys i didn't tell you about this well right there i can't zoom in on the gopro but right there that's actually a bmx track and right right down there there's a road descending. i don't know what she was pointing at uh but right there that's actually a bmx track and i was like you know if i had my rc cars right here with me i could like drive those rcs like right there on that bmx track because right where I live right now, we do have tracks, but we don't have those dirt tracks. We do, there's like, they're just like a little bit further down. The other ones are just like uh, carpeted. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go to these uh, pretty unique fast food places. Now, I, I, I don't know if I should call it fast food, but it's gonna be a pretty interesting thing. But yeah. This is Joey's. But by the way, guys, I forgot. The, la the event last night was so crazy. All the all those events that I saw on YouTube, relate and on TV about surrounding, you know, San Diego, Anaheim, really just all of California, Los Angeles, if I can remember once before. Monster Jam, who that whenever they've been over there, they tore down the house. They always tear down the house wherever they go. But like San Diego, just like was crazy, kind of like Vegas, but like also. Petco Park was a little bit bigger than MetLife. And also there was like a few people over there that I knew who are friends of mine. And also, um, oh yeah, speaking of that, uh, there's a friend of mine named Levi Shones. If, if you guys know, know him, he's actually one of the people who also have a channel, but he usually just um, participates in sign-up series every now and then. But he also works there as a track as a track crew member. And there was a time I was trying to find him after the show, and where we were trying to meet was like driving me out of my mind, like beginning to be mixed up. And um, we also got in like an early access, and that was actually a great thing. If you have like an early access, you get to go in there super early, and you get the chance to try to meet all the drivers when you can. And that's actually a really interesting thing for you to do, or actually a really exciting thing for you to do. All right, here is San Diego, guys. I'm not sure if I ever caught it on video, but that is the city of San Diego. We actually, let me get you a good view, guys. I can't really see. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, we're here. We're we're here. This is like a very big marketplace. Um, now, oh, here comes a plane, guys. Taking right off. Yeah, we're like the airport is literally right over there. So we're here at this marketplace. Uh, Sarah, you said at one point these were barracks, right? Yes. Navy barracks. All right. Also, I gotta show you guys what she has on her ears. <laughs> That's the replica of Ladybug's really yeah. Miraculous. Yeah, I gave that to her as like a birthday present. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down for a little bit till we get there. Actually. Look at all these fish right here. Oh, boy. Those are big. So right here I have some cheese balls. One of them is three cheese, and one of them is garlic cheese. I'm trying to find a place. I can't really hold the camera I need. So anyways, I'm gonna try it. Look at that cheese. Mm. <laughs> three, three cheese. That's really good. Yeah. This one's garlic cheese. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, go ahead. Very good. So this right here is my sushi bowl. Yeah. A sushi bowl with rice, tuna, salmon, two different kinds of sauces with seaweed, avocado, and toppings, crab meat. Right, right here. Here's my uh, what I have right here for my for my salad, my sushi bowl. And Jerry has like his own soup. We got ramen. Ramen soup. And what do you have here? Spicy tuna roll. Yeah, this is gonna be a delicious meal. I cannot wait for dessert after this. I'm gonna take a bite. This is what the inside looks like. I'm gonna get one more bite for you. I'm gonna finish it, but I'm gonna give you one guys one more bite. It's been an interesting day. We had some uh, delicious food. We're not done there just yet, but right now we're taking a break. <sighs> right now we're just taking a break. Sarah has a dog, another, the same dog actually that she has to walk again. It's one of her jobs actually, or her full-time job. Then after that, I think we're supposed to, where are we supposed to go next? Eat some more food. Yeah, I actually just forgot what other place it was. Baked bears. Ba oh, baked bears. Yeah, the wiener schnitzel is actually like the last thing that we'll do. And then if we still have some time left, we will probably just do a little bit more stuff at the apartment, hit from the what beach, I know. Dude. Oh yeah, hit the beach. Dude. All right, we'll catch up. Oh, and here comes a plane with a good view.
So this is Shelly. This is actually a dog that my sister is actually uh, walking. So this is like her full-time job. She walks like every other dog and on different days. So this, so right now she's down doing, she's on her shift right now. So right now, aside from that, what we're doing is that we're taking a walk through like another part of San Diego through town. And I think if I'm right, are we, if I'm wrong or right, are we heading towards the beach? We are heading towards all right. Yeah. We're not gonna get there on this walk, but yeah. So that's pretty much our next step. So just like I just thought, you guys should say hi to this dog. I love dogs. Like they're really fun to play with. I know if there's some this of you. Who... Yeah. Look at Shelly now. Oh, she's drooling. <laughs> she loves her walks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up and comment down below if you love dogs. So then here is the surrounding area. We have like some, um, we have Jolson's right here. We have like a local pizza shop. This is like a, like a small part of San Diego right here. Super small. Uh-huh. Yeah, the big part is like just in the other direction where we were just at. And that, that's also an entertaining place because like you can get, because the airport's just like right down the street, literally, and right next to where we were. We could see airplanes take off and land and it really keeps me entertained just like seeing some stuff like that. So we're just gonna finish walking this dog, return her back to her home, and then from there on out, we're gonna head to the beach and then probably watch one more episode of Ladybug and Cat Noir. And eat a lot more great food. Yeah, and then Wiener Schnitzel is probably my final stop before I head home. And I will be sure that I'm gonna pack my items. And I will show you to be sure to let you say goodbye to my sister and Jerry before we head back. But that won't be the last time we see her. Next time we see her, it'll be in Florida, Orlando. We have a history in Hor we have an we have a history going to Orlando. We back went back there in 2006, 2010. Now we're going heading there for for another special reason. But we'll get back to you guys soon. We just gotta let Sarah finish her job, and we're gonna have to just enjoy this walk while it lasts. So I just picked up this orange from this tree oh, I'm talking so loud I don't even know it <laughs> but I just picked up this orange from this tree and I'm already sustaining some small injuries from my <laughs> thumb there's thorns in that tree oh and oh my goodness it, it, it still hurts a I little I knew orange trees had thorns I know but I but I got a fresh one right here and this will probably heal up by, by later today we're just on our way back to drop off What's her name again? Lucy? Shelly. 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 I was thinking of the name Lucy and then it just washed away. So now we're going to drop her off and then head to the beach. It's almost like I would like to jump in the pool right now considering this weather and temperature. Okay, did he come from the elevator? There was one thing I forgot that we were going to do. We were, are going to eat at some places. Wiener Schnitzel and what was that ice cream place? Bear Mountain? Baked Bear. Baked Bear. And then I think there was another place that we're also supposed to eat at before we finish all that and then go back to my, our, well, Sarah's apartment. We just dropped off Shelly, had a good walk. And also we picked out an orange. I didn't get this on camera, but I picked out, there was an orange tree. It looked like an orange this tree. Oh, actually, yeah, I did show parts of it, but like I grabbed it and then there was some thorns and it got my thumb. And then, like, yeah, it was partially an orange because when I took a bite out of the first couple of slices, it was so sour. And then I actually swallowed it, and then my hands got soaked in, like, this juice because I was trying to peel it. And then, and then once I... Sarah was actually trying to take a picture of me because I was making funny faces in reaction to the sourness. And then, like, she actually took a bite of it, and she didn't like it either. Yeah, she didn't like the orange either. It was so sour. And we I don't just think it was an orange. I think it might have been a grapefruit. All right. Yeah, so we just ended up throwing it into the bushes, and then we just finished the walk from there. So now, on to our next stop. All right, so now we are here at Fina Schnitzel. Yeah, so this is my first time trying over there. I actually looked at a menu uh, surrounding this place. The chili, the chili cheese dogs, the chili cheese fries burritos sounded like very intriguing. And look, we're actually, this is actually the drive through not a garage. It's like a tunnel of some sorts. And that's actually very unique. Yeah, they're all like that. They yeah. Like yeah, and they also have this very cool lemonade drink called Strawberry Pineapple Lemonade. 
and I never had those kind of lemonades before so we just put that on the list so we're just waiting for this car to come up and then uh, we'll see what the drive through is like Thank you. Can't wait to try these things. Okay, I'm gonna try the wiener schnitzel in a little bit, but first I'm gonna try this strawberry pineapple lemonade. That's great. Is it? It's a good combo. Yeah, it tastes like one of those fruit roll-ups. Okay, as I said before, I did have chili cheese dogs before, including from Sonic Drive-In, but never from Wiener Schnitzel. So here's my first bite of Wiener Schnitzel. Same taste, delicious, but it has like that same classic taste of a chili cheese dog. Look at this baby. This is the chili cheese fries burrito. You might be thinking, Mark Galloway, you just had a chili cheese dog. Why are you having another chili cheese product? Well, I never had french fries in a burrito before. <laughs> yeah, these things are like very rare. Like I thought that they were gonna have like something else, a different kind of french fry burrito, but this is the only one. But I never had french fries in a burrito myself. But either way, there we go. We're gonna give this a try. Me and Sarah are actually gonna share this one. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can really just like mainly taste. Oh, there's like this guy really twirling that sign. I gotta, I gotta rotate this. Yeah, look at this guy right here, guys. Twirling that sign. That what a way to advertise something. But yeah, the the, the burrito, it's delicious. I can really still. Let me get one more bite with the fries. Yeah, definitely getting the fries this time. It's good. I really still mainly taste the the chili and the cheese, but with the French fries, I, it's a pretty good combination to add to a burrito. And I just spit something out. Hey, what? Sarah's now gonna give her verdict on this burrito. Mmm. I like it. Um. I feel like it tastes just like chili cheese fries. Yeah. And that you don't really need the bur bur the burrito. The, uh -huh. the, the inside is so good. Um, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, that's exactly kind of like my opinion of what I think. But it's just that the fries and the burrito just sounds like a pretty interesting combination. So that's why I had to give this one a try. I guess it makes it a little bit easier to eat not as messy because it you have all your fries and chili right, contained in your burrito. right yeah that's right so yeah <clears throat> this definitely this definitely is delicious so this right here guys is my final dessert for the day it's a uh, ice cream sandwich uh, with cookies being uh, cookies and cream and the bottom being uh, um, oatmeal cinnamon and this is mint chocolate chip with fruity pebbles so I'm going to give one lick first to see what it's like I can't really taste the fruity pebbles, but I mean I do like mint chocolate chip, but couldn't really get the fruity pebbles. But now it gives I'm, you a little bit of a crunch. Yeah, but now now I'm gonna see if I can try. I can't take a full bite of ice cream because it makes my tea so cold. But I'm gonna try and get like a mini bite. I'm, let me try one cookie each first. The cookies and cream cookie. I can't really taste so much of it like in ice cream but that's 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 fitting but now I'm gonna try oatmeal cinnamon yeah oatmeal cinnamon oh yeah okay that's pretty good too All right now I'm gonna try and see if I can get like a mini bite that's good it's delicious, but it can get messy. What do you think? I love that place. You can get cookie sandwich, ice cream sandwiches, or you can use brownies. 
and you can mix and match your flavors. It's delicious. All right, and I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there is a Monster Jam advertisements going on at different parts of the town because like even though we just had one that just passed there's one more coming next weekend but unfortunately i can't i'm not able to stay another week and i just had to choose one that is a little disappointing but i will see that lineup in atlanta but I had fun while it lasted and i remember being right here this is where me and jerry came we walked on the beach and we just went over here and this is where we waited for sour to come pick us up all right, now we're just gonna head back and like, is, do we pretty much just hit everything? No way, there's so much more, but we're doing all we can. Yep, all right, as soon as I figure, as soon as I remember what we're supposed to do next, well, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, look at this. Oh my God, look how steep, look how, we are so high up. We're here at Sunset Cliffs. Yeah, look how high we are. This has to be like 75 feet. Down there? Is this like 75 feet? I don't know. How high are we? Yeah. Those cliffs remind me of the Grand Canyon. People are climbing up on rocks. See all the surfers out there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone's up on a wave right there. Oh, he just went down. The smell of the ocean. Look at all that seaweed or, or that gook that's right that's down seaweed. there. Oh, you can actually walk down there. Not all the way right here. I know. Yeah, look how beautiful this is, everybody. This is so lovely. Also, the sign telling the truth. Unstable cliffs. You don't know if you're gonna fall or not. I'm actually gonna walk down a little bit, but I gotta be careful. That path leads to a dead end. Oh, don't stand on that end. You have to stay at least on that end, right by the grass. Yeah, right where Jerry is, stay on that end. Don't go to the, don't go to that end. You do not know if that's going to give way. What are you talking? When we're just recording the vlog. What's up, bud? <laughs> there is a. You can also see that there's a ship all the way out here. See all the seaweed that's in the water? This is just lovely. Okay, so we just found a way down. There's actually stairs right there, but here's another view of those cliffs. I like how they're designed, though they're not designed by people, technically. Just look how beautiful they are. And here is all the surfers. Right there, there's that guy going. Look at him. There's that ship again. Two more surfers there. Some people were taking waiting for us. This is just so amazing and look at the sunset. Alright, now we're here at the bottom level. Look at this look at this photo right here. Is that design? Let me see if I, can, I don't know if I can splash water right there. Look at this part. This is made out of gold right here. Oh it's not it's not gold exactly, but. This one is deep, guys. Oh boy.
Look at these rocks. So smooth. And here are what the cliffs look like. And here we are. Oh, there was bugs. Sunset Beach. And we're now walking along. We're now walking, walking, taking steps on different rocks. We're gonna keep walking a little bit. This is a little bit adventurous, <laughs> but like after this is all over right here, we're then gonna stop and get a little drink before I officially get dropped off at the airport for the ride home. Hey okay, guys, there's something I gotta show you. Like right here in the water, look at all these hermit crabs. See all them moving? Yeah, we used to catch some at the beach at these days, but there's something that I also have to show you. So this is something that kind of like gives me the creeps. Where is it? Uh, right here. This is an urchin called the sea anemone. So this is like a living creature that's like a plant. But like this is a thing that kind of gives me the creeps because you can touch it. See all these things right here? Those actually feel like jelly. But like I actually just touched one over there. I was so scared to touch it because like I thought it would just close up or bite. It, my sister says it doesn't hurt. It doesn't. But like when you touch it, these things like attach to your hands and they like move a little bit and then it can close in on you. So I mean that, you can do that. And my sister, believe it or not, actually licked one before. So they, it just like gives me the creeps to do that because when I see something move, when I see something like this move or close up, kind of like a fly trap or if it hurts, if I feel like it's gonna close up on my finger, like literally, like eats the hole, it just really like gets me to, you know, flinch. So here I go, I'm gonna touch it. Just watch what happens. Eight, uh, Jesus. Oh boy. See? See, 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 see that? It moves and it like closes in on you. Here, I'm gonna go, gonna go again. It just, it just has like a little bit of a sucky sensation, almost like tentacles. But here I go, I'm gonna go again. Touch, oh, boom. See that, it's, it's closing in, closing in. And Jerry actually just like scraped his finger along with that. And that also gives me like, oh my God, how do you do that? So I'm gonna go deep. I'm not gonna poke it too hard, but like let's, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. And each one has its own personality. Yeah. Oh, see that? It's like flinching. See how I'm pulling on it too hard now? Oh, I don't know if you caught it, but watch this. See, it's now closing up. Oh, there it goes, guys. So yeah, that kind of gives me the creeps just a little bit, even when I touch it now. We had a crazy night now. Wild night on the town. Oh, <laughs> oh he actually looked hilarious there. Uh, yeah, so we just had a couple of drinks. I We each had one, actually. But uh, we also played some uh, very hard games that they made over in there. And so now, we're, our, we're now going through town, getting back to our car, so I can now head to the airport. It's now about 6.30. We're going for one more drink. Like, one more drink? I had enough. Nope. You have. Maybe you, have. you did. We're we need to bring a home a souvenir glass. And and it's okay. Okay. Well, they start they start boarding, so I mean, I need to be there on time. <laughs> You're, gonna You're gonna be cool. All right. We'll just see about that. Okay, guys. I think I might wrap it up here, but anyways, we're here at San Diego Airport, my final destination before my flight to Newark. So, I and get this. This is actually a true story that just happened. So I was going through TSA. And then everything was getting scanned and everything seems like it was going well. But as soon as I stepped out after they scanned me, they thought they found something right here in the groin area. And then like they were saying like, do you have anything hidden in there like a belt or anything like that? And I was confused and then like they said like, well they had like, a, like an infrared scanning saying like they might have found something or anything. I didn't truthfully. And then like, I did like kind of like, um, felt myself a little bit to see if it was true because like I thought it would maybe it's a mistake but despite that like they had to give me a quick pat down 
it is an outrageous thing for most people but uh so yeah they gave me a quick pat down and then everything checked out they also had to like uh get moisturizer on my hands to make sure if i if i was touching anything or anything like that when that checked out too and and at one point they were like don't take your clothes off sir and then i'm like no absolutely not i would never do that in public trust me on that and then that checked out as i said so that checked out and then my suitcase actually went to the other side you know like when they think that they found something dangerous in your bag and then they just like skip it over to the other side and then they like have to ask you questions and search your bag real quick that actually happened to my suitcase and it actually turned out it was my title belt so then like that's when you know they were like oh that this this they, they were like oh this is cool like how much was it and everything like that i had to tell them that you know i had to tell them the price because like you know it's a very you know very prestigious item that i that i carry it's very important to me so then they just had to like give it a rescan and then that checked out thankfully so that was like a very weird experience i had with tsa and i was very worried about bringing it in the first place very scared that they were going to be confused for something dangerous so anyways now i'm just going to wait for my flight to newark and I'm pretty much just going to wrap it up and take off. And that's it. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching this vlog. Really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. And subscribe for more vlogs or cooking videos coming your way. And that's it. And I hope you guys love this vlog. And next time you see Sarah. Oh, I didn't get to say goodbye with her on camera. But next time you see her, we will be in Florida. So I'll see you guys then.